Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I've got an update on a line of prefab homes that people have been excited about. The new options available in off-site construction have been relentlessly announced over the last few years, but there's been a bit of frustration over what's available now. What I've noticed after making these videos for a couple years now is people will see a brand new concept, say, I want that, then end up disappointed when they can't get it right now. I get it, I don't like waiting for things any more than the next guy, but these things take time. Sure. I think it's fun to see new companies announced, but it's even better to see companies that were featured 12 to 18 months ago now building homes. A company that I've been following for at least a year now recently finished their first two prototypes and opened them to the public in Mesa, Arizona. I haven't been able to get over there yet, but I was able to locate a few picks so we can see what's going on. The company I'm talking about is Zenny Home with their very first builds that are viewable now. What I'm going to do is show you the homes, give you an update on what's going on, and check out their current price. Zenny Home is an Arizona-based company with a line of modern prefab homes that will ship throughout the United States and up into Canada. If you haven't heard about what they're up to, the SparkNotes version is they were founded in 2019 as a viable solution to the housing shortage with the plan to factory built models that could be easily transported and would have minimum environmental footprint. The result was two homes, a 320 square foot studio called the Denison and a 640 square foot two bedroom called the Citizen. They're being built in a factory near Page, Arizona in a facility that looks to me like they're gonna have room to grow. I've noticed with companies early on like this that a lot of times they start out in a small space and outgrow it quickly if the idea hits with consumers. But to me, it looks like assuming things go well they'll grow into this one it's kind of like shoes i remember getting a pair of la lights a size too big so i could flex on mr shaw and my fourth grade classmates a little bit longer until they didn't fit what i didn't account for was them taking a dip in the lake a week after having them not waterproof. People can get a bit fussy when I talk about companies that they feel are taking their time getting production up and running, but the way I see it, better they take a little longer and get it right before shipping to customers. The thing is, there will be changes made as they go from their first idea to what's made available to the public. Do I wish LA Lights would have taken a little bit longer and made their shoes waterproof? Yeah. I do. Zenny Home has already made a lot of changes from their original business model, and I think it's a good thing. I don't know why, but I get a kick out of watching the new prefab home companies move from idea to home that people can actually buy, and this is no exception. I just think it's fascinating that the original idea is typically presented in the form of a rendering, and if it's something that people are interested in, then they have to not only figure out how to build it, but figure out how to build it fast enough and at a price that people see value in. It's almost the opposite of Field of Dreams. If you like it, we will build. One of the concepts being marketed on everything from Zenny Home is the idea of transformative architecture where you're able to get more usable space out of the same amount of space, if that makes sense. Listen, I understand that 320 square feet is 320 square feet is 320 square feet is no. But the way they're approaching it, there will be more uses in the same amount of space because of the transformative architecture. For example, in the Denison, they have the beds that raise when not in use, opening up the studio for daytime living. It says introducing a home that reconfigures space and time. It's like living in a fully furnished 900 square foot home in 300 square feet of space. Space that's convertible, lovable, and attainable. Which reminds me, around the same time as my LA lights, I had pants that zipped off into shorts two items I wouldn't mind finding my way back into. I've seen the renderings for the retractable bed that lowers from the ceiling and have been curious to see what it would look like in real life. My concern was that it would look like a bed strapped to the ceiling, an unnatural afterthought, but I was pleasantly surprised. The way this works is when the bed isn't in use, there's a love seat and table to use during the day. What surprised me was the bottom of the bed is flat and acts almost like an accent on the ceiling. When it lowers, the legs fold out and you get what looks to be a fair standard bed. The Denison has a footprint of 20 feet long by 16 feet wide and the way they have it laid out they've got two exterior doors one on the front and another on the side out to a covered porch. If you enter into the front door you've got the kitchen laundry on the left and office to the right. The bathroom is on the same side as the kitchen which is opposite from the double door to the porch. There are a couple things I really like about the Denison. First is the amount of windows. Almost one entire wall of the Denison is windows. 
320 square feet isn't a massive amount of space, but with all those windows, the unit is going to feel more spacious. The second is the use of the space. Let's not forget the space is the space. So running multiple purposes in the space is a smart idea. I feel like I just said space hundred times. The large of the two models that will be available from Zenny Home is their Citizen. The Citizen is double the size of the Denison with dimensions of 40 feet long by 16 feet wide and it ships in pieces that will be connected on site. They recently went into detail about what's included in the price and what falls on the homeowner but more on that shortly. The description says our two bedroom option Citizen combines precision engineering and cutting edge robotics to create a living environment unlike any other. Citizen's 640 square foot footprint unpacks to 1500 square feet of comfort. This thing doubles down on transforming spaces. The living room bedroom is similar to the Denison. They've got the kitchen entrance, laundry and bathroom in the middle. Then the dining room is on the other side. On the floor plan, the space adjacent to the dining is labeled flex, but it appears that rolls out to become bedroom two. It's a pretty cool concept really, and these picks are a start, but this is definitely one I wanna see in person. I feel like it's the only way I'm gonna be able to truly appreciate what they've got going on here. They recently sent out some Info, breaking down who looks after what in their process, which will vary from company to company. So let's see who's doing what with Zenny Home. Something that people should be aware of and on board with before considering any offsite constructed home is what's involved with getting one. They broke it down in a segment called How to Prepare for Your Zenny Home, and I thought it was good info worth sharing. It says Zenny Home does almost everything for you. Your Zenny Home comes move in ready, but it goes on to say that there are important steps that buyers will have to take to ensure sites are prepped for a smooth Zenny Home installation. They break it down with what they do and what buyers do. Makes sense. The first bullet point is they make sure the Zenny Home complies with state, federal, and international codes. Buyers are responsible for making sure Zenny Home is allowed on their site and for permitting. Second point, they precision build the Zenny Home. Buyers prepare the site for a Zenny Home. It's noted in their guide to budget 25 to 50,000 for site prep, but keep in mind that's gonna change from place to place. Bullet point three, they load the Zenny Home on a truck and deliver it to the site. Buyers hire a licensed crew and crane to install it. They estimate a delivery cost of $4 per mile for the Denison and $8 per mile for the Citizen. So pop open Google Maps and see how far the factory is from where you are to get a rough estimate on the delivery cost. None of it matters too much without the cost of the home. And right now, the current price estimates for the units are $90,000 for the Denison and $125,000 for the Citizen. Keep in mind, prices can and usually do change, but will be accurate at the time of posting the video. With their pricing, they're running a current estimated price. It says our homes are built with high-grade steel and other costly materials. Well, we're hoping to meet the base price of 90 and 125, we will not be able to guarantee prices until the factory is fully operational and your unit is in the production queue, which would be approximately three months before delivery. I definitely like that they're informing people that, hey, things can change, so don't get married to this price. I feel like it's an upfront approach as they now move from their first prototypes to shipping out to consumers. Zenium has taken the next step in getting their idea out to buyers with the completion of their prototypes in Mesa, Arizona. They've been open to view for a minute now, and even though I haven't been able to get there in person, it's nice to score a few picks to share of the first builds. Now they'll either proceed with the design as is and start building for customers or refine based on the feedback from construction and the public viewing. Either way, I've enjoyed enjoyed watching them move through the process, so I'm going to continue following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.